going on guys so it's gonna be a quick video I found a motor for the Jeep I'm going to pick it up on Thursday it's very very low mileage um, I got a deal a pretty good deal on it I'm going to get it Thursday and uh, pretty much what we're gonna do for the time being uh, I don't want the Jeep down so with me building a motor for it and everything it'd be down for a while um, I don't want the motor down or that the Jeep down for that matter. I don't know why I said motor, but you guys know what I mean. Um, so this motor that I'm getting has 105,000 miles on it. It's legit miles. It's not like taking someone's word for it. The guy sent me a video of it running. He sent me a picture of the odometer. Uh, the Jeep it's coming from is 2004 Grand Cherokee WJ. Um, it got hit in the passenger front. So the Jeep's completely totaled out. The guy's gonna pull the engine for me. <clears throat> it's about 40 minutes from my house for me to go pick it up um so pretty much what we're gonna do is when i have that motor in my possession i'm going to take all of my parts off mine that i want like my roller rockers my header probably my intake manifold just because it's painted nicely i have a board throttle body every performance modification that's done on my jeep we're gonna wind up putting on that motor before we put it in and um, tomorrow, I'm going to be pulling the engine in my Jeep. I do know what happened to it, so I'm going to drop some pictures in this video, probably right after this clip, of the piston top. Um, I was able to see through the spark plug hole, and you can clearly see that it's cracked. It cracked the whole entire piston. So I'm not even 100% sure if I'm even going to be able to use that block. But if I can use that block, if that block can be used, I'm going to wind up building a stroker over time for for that motor. So pretty much the, the engine that I'm picking up Thursday is going to be not the permanent engine for the Jeep, but it's going to get us by um, considering I, I need the Jeep. I can't have the Jeep down. Um, the whole problem with that is... I have the Mustang, which I want to get into a body shop. The Mustang is not registered or insured, and I can't drive it with no front end. There's no headlights, there's no fender, there's no hood, there's no bumper, there's no bumper support. So I need the Jeep to be able to tow the Mustang to a body shop so the bodywork can get started on it. So yeah, I'm going to pick this engine up. We're going to pretty much make it like the engine in my Jeep, just not blown up. So with that being said, Honestly, it should probably have a little bit more power than my motor did because that compression on cylinder three was low. Um, I don't know for how long, but I know it was low. Now it has no compression on cylinder three. So with the piston being cracked, it's not building any compression and it's knocking really bad. Um, so yeah, but before I pull the motor, I'm going to start it for you guys just so you can hear what's going on. Um, you guys can hear the knock, the misfire or whatever. But I'm going to pull that engine tomorrow. It shouldn't take me very long, probably two or three hours tops. Um, I will do a video for you guys. It'll be the next video that I upload of me pulling that engine out and pretty much taking off the parts that I want off that engine. Um, we'll probably tear it down. And I'll show you guys more in depth of the picture that I'm going to post after this clip. And then also in this video towards the end, I have some pictures and videos of when I built the motor that is now no good in my Jeep. Um, if this is your first time being here, please subscribe to the channel. I do a lot of Jeep content. I also do Mustang content and Subaru content. So if you're a fan of any one of those vehicles, hit that subscribe button because there's plenty of content. I do a lot of how to's and everything. But um, yeah, so let me put those clips in for you guys and everything. And then um, I'll see you at the end of this video and we'll be pulling the engine in the next video so i'll show you guys how to do that and yeah we should be good to go with this motor please tell me we're good to go with this engine really want my jeep back Truth or dare. Truth or dare.
really quick guys all the music i use in every video that i post if there's music in it it's my buddy a zach on youtube it's a y y z a c h definitely go check him out uh he has a lot of talent doing like electronic music techno music type type stuff house music definitely give him a subscribe because uh he kills it with his music and yeah he lets me use his music so that's a big plus so this way i don't get copyrighted but definitely check him out on youtube there you have it guys those are all the clips that i have of whenever i put together the jeep motor that's in there uh keep in mind that motor was supposed to be built into a stroker um i had some issues with my daily driver at the time and i kind of just had to slap it in there uh however it was so you know i didn't get to do rings i didn't get to check the pistons or anything like that but that's okay um you know it happens stuff happens you know when you're dealing with cars stuff breaks is what it is it's out of my control it's out of anyone else's control um kind of knew better when i purchased that motor just the guy that i bought it from was really really sketchy and i i didn't really trust him too much but at least i only paid 100 bucks for the motor that i'm pulling out tomorrow so it's not too bad of a problem and now i have a block to build off of hopefully just as long as the block's still good um it's probably still good but we'll see when it comes out and i tear it down but yeah so if you guys like what you saw in this video please drop a like up on this video drop a comment um i try to answer every comment you guys post i do a pretty good job about it um usually answer you guys you know in a timely fashion and uh definitely hit that subscribe button for more jeep content mustang content subaru content whatever you guys are into uh if you guys want me to make any videos about specific things just drop them in the comments you could direct message me on instagram my instagram bio is in my youtube bio so if you guys don't have me on instagram and you want to add me um be more than happy to accept your requests and um if you guys want to see anything just shoot me a message on any one of the platforms and i'll be more than happy to make a video for you and uh yeah so until next time I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.